Hello, Facebook friends, hello. Hello, Facebook friends, hello. I'm feeling real silly, so let's start the show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. ba do boo ba do ba do I was supposed to say all my friends, but I said Facebook friends today, because I forgot. Say hello to all your friends. Now. Hello, all my friends. <laughs> hello, all my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. I'm feeling really silly, so let's start the show. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, everybody. It's me, Tazzy. Welcome to Tazzy Reads Stuff, a book where my, me, Tazzy, reads stuff. So I am Miss Christy. Here, say hi, Miss Christy. Hello. Hello, Miss Christy. It's good to see you. What's your hand doing? You okay? Ding, 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 ding. Are you wiping my face off? Oh, no, no. There we go. <laughs> Miss Christy's here. You didn't say hi out loud. You just waved. Hello. That's too loud. <laughs> oh, what a day today. Uh, it was a nice day out. It looked nicer than it actually was. It was a little bit colder out. Uh, how was your day, Miss Christy? Did you you work lots on your, your projects? Yeah. You had a lot of projects. Up. You got quite a couple projects on the go. You got your, you got, you created another um, stitch, like a cross stitching thing. Yeah. It's pretty cool. When can I show people? When is it going to be done? Is it going to be done later? It'll be done by the end of the show? No. Would be done tomorrow? No. No? I may have about a week or two left on it. A week or two? We're going to have a puppy by then. No. Hey, I know you're not going to be done, but the puppy will be here. No. Gay saying, hello, beautiful Taz and lovely Miss Christy. Well, hello to both of you, and that good to see you as well. Uh, I can hardly wait to show you pictures of the puppy I didn't get yet. Um, but I can, here, I'll show you, I'll show, I'll show you a, a rendering of, of the puppy, um, That's what my puppy's gonna look like, like that. So is your dream puppy to have a dog like Rolf from? Uh... Yeah, from from the. Okay, well, welcome to the show here, uh, the Muppets. Bum 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 bum. It makes sense that you, as an entertainer, would like a dog that's an entertainer as that's well. That's right, and I want a, I want a bear that wears a little hat, because it, <laughs> it could be many different bears. I don't know. It could be I, Fozzie Bear. It could be, hey, boo-boo, all about some of them picnic baskets. It could be Yogi Bear. Are you, are you, would you all be able to um, share the mic? Because, like, you have more than one entertainer in a house, and there's still only one stage. There well, that's tends fine. To... You just go up first, second, and third. That's all. That's all. I'm just saying. Then you get into the, you know, who takes first. Nope. No, nope. who takes second? Not in my, not in my, not in my world. It's all about the show. How many times have I headlined a show? Lots. How many times have I been in the middle? Lots. How many times have I opened the show? Lots. How many times was I just the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, grab a snow coat and enjoy the show? It's time for the comedy and just the voice. Lots. So I'm all about the show. She's not going to win this argument. I'm getting a puppy. Hey, Yaz is here. Don't don't interrupt me. Yaz is here. Hey, Barb and Yaz, my neighbor neighbors. How are you? Uh, do -do -do -do. Uh, his pup is going to be McGruff the crime dog. Oh, because there'll be a crime committed in this house if I come home with a dog. I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's going to happen. Miss Chrissy's going to be like, when did you get the pigs? Well, right after uh, right after got the dog so they can cover up the tracks. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, uh, let's read some books. I'm torn between reading two smaller books or one longer book. Read a longer book. You read a longer book, a but longer then I'll mess up. By the way, today is uh, day 412. I missed day 410 with you because I was doing a show. I had two shows that went really well. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that, to be honest with you. And I'd be way weird if I go, oh, the show was terrible and I loved it. Uh, Wee Beast is good. He's upstairs. He's feeling okay. No symptoms of COVID. Uh, we went for the COVID test yesterday. Correct. Is today Tuesday? Today is Tuesday. Good, because I'm still on the show. Uh, what, um, um, oh, I should tell you too, by the, before I forget, this, re this is a remembering figure. So I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you after, uh, uh, so, uh, we beast, uh, we beast, uh, and I went for, well, we didn't go for, uh, both with test. We beast went for a test and they've put the thing up his nose so far that I, I thought at one point the nurse is going to go, uh, we've got a new record. <laughs> so that was it. Okay. Ah! Oh my God! Remember that my fingers to remember something. What was I going to remember? I don't know. Oh, I thought you'd remember. 
May the 4th be with you. Yes, I've heard that uh, a couple of times. It's Star Wars Day, more than May the 4th. Timmy Nutt, my buddy Tim Nutt, who is a part of our show, is a big uh, Star Wars fan. Uh, -doo -doo -doo. Um, oh, the show's going well. That's what it is. I will be here tomorrow, but Thursday I will not be here. Uh, as I am doing a show for the Canadian Mental Health Association, I believe that's who I'm doing the show for. Uh, yes, on, on Thursday. So I will um, I will um, uh, put a link up onto my uh, for uh, tickets if you'd like. Tomorrow I have a show in the morning. That doesn't affect anything. And Friday I have a show in the afternoon and possibly a show in the evening. So yeah, I've got three shows on Thursday. So that's, well, two... two uh, Two, uh, whatchamacallit shows, two, um, 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 um like, uh, Speaking. rehearsals, and then, uh, show, show. So there you go. That's it. Out of bed, boop, boop. There you go. Let's read, uh, let's read uh, some books. Miss Yaz, how are you today? I can't hear you. I don't know why I asked. I'll pop, I can, I can wave to you later. Uh, I scared her the other day when she was walking along. I went, yes, Minka. <laughs> She's, ah! But then it turned, it turned out that was Albert. Okay, that's that screamed. There you go. Here's your papa that screamed. <laughs> <coughs> Trying to make fun. Okay, we'll read one giant book. Here we go. Uh, this is book. This will be book 831, everybody. Giants in Different Sizes is this book. I've had this book and I've wanted to read it for a while. Uh, it is uh, some of my favorite artwork is in this is in this book. I love this style. It's <clears throat> a book by Jolly Roger Bradfield. <clears throat> Pardon me. I've got the hiccups now. You know what? I probably need one of these. Where do do do? I got Miss Christie. There you go. This uh, book is called Giants in Different Sizes. It's by Jolly Roger Bradfield, and it is by uh, Ron. Is it raining? Ron McNally, and this is from 1966. Mrs. Christie, Miss Christie, would have been uh, 41. Dingleberg. What a silly name for a kingdom. And Dingleberg was a silly little kingdom, too. It was on a tiny, tiny island, and so tiny it looked like somebody's shoe floating around in the ocean. In every direction was water. Acres and acres of water, as far as you can see. As far as you can see. If you're ever lucky enough to visit this island kingdom, the first thing that you'd notice was it was a sunny place it was. The sun shone every single day. It shone down on the people and made them happy. It shone down on their hamburger gardens and made the hamburgers grow. I'm moving here, I'm moving here, I'm moving here, I'm moving here. <laughs> a lot of people would want to move there. <laughs> Let's go to the hamburger places right there. You got the hamburger garden. How was it? Well, how was it? They're cold or warm. Well, it's sunny. In the plant. It's sunny. It's sunny. I, I know, but like... It'll be warm. Sunshine is warm, Miss Christie. Like warm, like a heart that lets somebody have a puppy. What Do you know if that it's warm? a day like today and it said it's, it's sunshiny, but it's a little cool outside? Which I haven't thought about your that. Hamburger That's be it. cold? That's it. I mean, if we had a puppy, we would not need hamburgers. That's science. That's not science. And it shone down on the castle on the hill where the good, where the King Burger lived with his daughter, the princess. For as long as anybody could remember, he ruled Dingleberg, and it had been a bright and happy place. Probably because they had puppies. If you don't have a puppy at your house, it's very sad. Sad. Sad indeed. <laughs> but alas, one dark and gloomy ship sailed over the horizon towards Dingleberg. On the deck of the ship was a dark and gloomy looking wizard named Warts. And he, over the ship, hung a dark and gloomy clouds. And it seemed to be moved right along with it. The ship and the wizard and the clouds were dark and dark and dark and gloomy. As the ship came nearer, those clouds that had been sailing over with it gradually covered the sun and lit. The light di grew dim and a chill wind blew over the tiny kingdom of Dingleberg, like when somebody says you can't have a puppy. You see, it's yeah. all sunshiny when you think you're getting a puppy, and then somebody says no puppy, and it gets cold and dark and sad. See, look. <gasps> puppy, 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 puppy! We're getting a puppy! <gasps> ah. Can we have a puppy? No. Oh. Were you just waiting for me to say no? Yeah, I was You're all planned out. You're baiting me. 
<laughs> I wasn't, you're not a fish. <laughs> and we're married. I don't have to date you anymore. The ship landed, and Wizard Warts got off. He started climbing up the hill towards the castle. He trampled through the hamburger gardens. He bumped into people without saying, excuse me. That's uh, not very nice. And he didn't even tip his hat to the ladies as he passed. You s can see what kind of wizard he was. He was a gizzard wizard. Yeah. Mr. Crank Cranky Pants. Cranky Pants. He wears a hat like you, though. No, he doesn't wear it. No, his hat goes up because he's mean. Oh, okay. When he got to the castle, he was stopped by a huge guard wearing a red uniform and a big, bristly hat. Wizard Warts asked the guard to bend over so he could whisper something to him. When the guard did, the Warts gave him a nose a hard twist and jammed his bushy hat down over his eyes. As the guard danced around, howling in pain and holding his nose in both hands, the wizard pushed into the castle, through the halls, and into the throne room. Well, this guy's not a lot of fun. He's not. A, he's a kind of a jerky guy, I bet. King Burger was sitting on his throne, trying to eat a hamburger while getting a shave and a haircut from Seville. <laughs> the barber from Seville. The traveling barber. Oh, there, the joke's right there. Seville came to Dinglebury each month to cut the king's hair. The shaving cream had been getting on King's Burger's hamburger, so he was not in a very good mood. The wizard did not even bow to the king before he spoke. King Wizard, he said roughly, today is your daughter's birthday. She is now old enough to be married, and I want her to be my wife. Oh, no. Bum, bum, bum. He's got eyebrows like you do. No, if he's got eyebrows, uh, then he's, I've got one, just one. I just shave right in here. I think I got a little. Like that. How was different. that again? Like that. Whoo! <laughs> I feel dizzy making you laugh. I hope you laughed at that. <clears throat> King Burger was so astonished that he choked on his hamburger. <coughs> he coughed and, and he sputtered. And, and behind a shaving lather, his face grew red as a beet. Like this right there from doing the sounds. The wizard went right on talking, offering the king expensive gifts if he would agree to the marriage and threatening to put a dark curse on the whole island if he did not. He said that he was in a hurry for a wife, as the ironing conditions where he lived had been not been done for years and were piling up so he could no longer get in the door. No mander, no wonder he was such a grouchy wizard. Well, what? A, that's not That's not what wives are for. They're to buy you poppies. We all know that. No, no, no but we're not we'll, for that either. No, but we'll just we'll talk about it that after. That wizard is trying to use bribery and extortion to get what he wants. Yeah, extortion means that you're bribing people. No, extortion means that, yeah, I just... Like yeah. he's threatening them. Threatening them, yeah, that's exactly. That they don't want. It's got to be for love. The King Burger jumped to his feet and roared, Enough! Get out of my castle and off my island at once! And he grabbed the barber's shaving brush and threw it at the wizard. He would have had thrown a hamburger too, but he remember uh, his manners just in time. Kings do not throw food, even at rude wizards. Shaking his royal fists in the air, he shouted to the barber, Seville, if that wizard is not out of here in a wink, use your sword on him. And the young traveling barber was glad of a chance to serve the king. And besides, he wanted to marry the princess himself. He did not have a sword, so he started after the wizard words with barber's scissors. Well, you're not supposed to run with scissors, so they no, both walked. No, that's a bad idea. They walked. Well, Even still, you're not supposed to, like... No, you're not, yeah. not, don't mess around with scissors. Right. Wizard Warts was out of the castle in a wink, pausing just enough to stomp on the toe of the poor guard at the entrance. Keeping well ahead of Seville's sharp scissors, he ran down the hill and was soon on his ship and out to sea. You'll be sorry, the wizard shouted back at Seville. All of Dingleburg will be sorry. Mwahahahaha. ha 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 uh -huh. It's no wonder he's still single. He's, he's not a very nice guy. He's just grumpy. That's you know, what it is. You know how you get somebody to love you? Is yeah, you, you show buy them a puppy. And love. And a puppy. 
Like you just get a puppy and then a puppy. No, that's and different. then what you do later yeah. is a puppy. And then what happens since then? You wake a puppy puppy. And then you wake a little puppy puppy. Puppy puppy puppy. No. She doesn't that's, know what she's saying. That's, that's almost, you With know, that, you could almost call that bribery, actually. With that, he pointed a long, crooked finger at one of the dark clouds hovering over his ship and chanted, Dark and weary, sad and weary, stay and make this island dreary. The gloomy ship turned slowly around and sailed back in the direction from which it had come. It's no wonder his ship has a d dark cloud over top yeah, of it. Yeah, he's a dark cloud in yeah. the ship. Although the wizard finally disappeared over the horizon, the darkness did not. The cloud stayed, blocking out the sun. It stayed there all that day, all the next, and 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 the next. It's going to be hard to grow those hamburgers. No kidding. A month had passed, and as usual, Seville, the traveling barber, stopped at the island to cut the king's hair. He found Dingleberry in a complete, Dingleberg, sorry, in a complete different place. It no longer was full of sunshine and gaiety. The cloud was still hanging over the island, keeping it dark. He found the people were worried the hamburger crop without sunshine had begun to wither and die. A dying hamburger plant is a sad thing to see. Worst of all, the children were unable to play in the bright sunshine and grew unhappier with each passing day. We call that winter Aww. in Winnipeg. Look at those sad hamburger plants. I know. You know what they need? A puppy. No! A puppy would so just eat all those hamburgers. Yeah, but then you wouldn't see them. It's science, Miss Christie. She doesn't know science. <laughs> Seville the barber learned that many ways had been tried to remove the cloud. The old cannon standing by the gate of the Dingleberg Castle had been pointed skyward and fired. But the cannonball had simply disappeared into the murk. Huge fires had been built, but the cloud was too high for the heat of the flames to reach it. Seville even saw people with their on their roofs throwing things at the cloud. Things like shoes and bricks and hamburgers, of course. It didn't do a bit of good, either. Yeah, clouds are not very easy to chase away. Send in the clouds. When the barber reached the castle, he found the king slumped down on his throne. Sadly gazing at a plate of withered hamburgers on his lap, Seville cut the king's hair in silence, trying to think of some way to help. About halfway through, he got an idea. King Burger, he said, as long as the cloud can't be moved, perhaps the island can be. One of my customers on an other island is a giant named Moosh. I think he might be able to do it. That's a good idea. Kingberger brightened. Well, it's worth a try, he cried. How big is this giant? Well, he's so big that I have to trim his beard with hedge shears. That's how big that's what we use here, replied Seville. And he has muscles like iron. Seville, said the king, I know that you have always loved the princess and hope to marry her someday. If you can save the island, I will agree to the wedding, but only if she agrees to. I'll make you the royal barber of Dingleberg. And after this, uh, that afternoon, Seville climbed into his tiny boat and sailed across the sea. Yeah, the cat's trying to get in here. That's hilarious. When the people of Dingleberg saw his ship again a few days later, it was being pushed through the water by a giant so huge the sea only came up to his waist. He was so big that the children of Dingleberg ran into their houses and hid under their beds. I love the way they painted the water in this yeah. book. That's very cool, eh? Yeah. They had no reason to be afraid, however. Moosh the giant waved to the people and smiled. He boomed out his loud voice that Seville was his friend and that he was there to help. And he took a huge rope from over his shoulder and circled the lion, uh, island with it and tied the ends of the rope around his waist and tried to pull the island out from under the gloom of the wizard's cloud. He pulled and he strained. His muscles bulged and his face turned pink and then red. But the island didn't budge. Yeah, I don't A think that's bitch. how islands work. 
I think they're pretty attached to the ocean floor. They might be. Some of them just are just floating there. No, I don't Some, think so. Yeah, there's floating islands, definitely. Uh, I, I was just reading a... Well, there's a, a garbage th island that's floating. No, but there's, there, are, there are chunks of land that aren't attached to anything. And they, 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 they it's really... I'll, uh, I'll show you that. I was actually, it was on um, something on the Weather Channel a few days ago. Uh, the scientist. Yeah, yes, I am. I am the scientist. The princess tried to comfort Seville. You had tried your best, she said. I'm proud of you, and even if your plan did fail... Fail, cried the barber. I haven't failed yet. Munch's brother, Moore... What? Okay, Moore is twice as big. So big I have to use a scythe to cut his hair, and he has muscles like steel. I'll get him, and he will come and move the island. After resting a bit... The giant ate a snack of 482 hamburgers, and then with Seville perched on his shoulder, he waded off in the direction so which they had come. 482 uh, hamburgers. It's just because it was only a sn snack that he only ate that much. 482. They returned the next day to an another giant who was indeed twice as big as Mosh. And so big that at this time the women, as well as the children, ran to their homes and hid under their beds. The barber directed Moosh and Moor to get on opposite sides of the island. This time Moor pulled with a rope while his brother pushed. They pulled and they pushed and they strained and they grunted and they groaned. <gasps> but the island didn't budge, not even an inch. That was worth a try. I mean, Yeah, for sure. This time, the disappointment was too much for the princess. She broke into tears. Oh, what will become of Dingleberg under this horrid cloud? Even Moosh and Moore have failed. Failed, cried the barber. <clears throat> they haven't failed yet. Their cousin, Moosh, is many times larger than they. So, so big, I have to cut his hair with a horse-drawn mower. I don't think horses are very good drawers. I don't yeah, think there. I don't well, think a horse can never, draw very well. I mean, you I'm never not saying know. there was an elephant that draw, drew a, um, a flower one time. I saw that. Yes, cried Moish and Moor. Cousin Moish is, is much bigger and stronger than we are. We didn't ask him to come before because he is, is has the sniffles and he shouldn't get wet feet. But he'll come if you really need them. The giants were a short rest and ate a snack of two thousand and forty-four hamburgers and they waited back uh, the way they came. Via Seville, with Seville, waving on their, sorry, waving back at the princess from the, his pocket. Look how tiny they are compared to the giants. Oh yeah, they're just massively giant. This is this big. Sniff, sniff. The next day they were back, followed by the largest giant ever. The ocean barely covered his feet, and his head towered so high in the sky that only the living. The people living near the very top of Dingleberg, a hill, could see it. This time, even the men ran indoors and hid in their families. But, even under their beds, they could hear the huge giant sniffling and snuffling. The giant with the sniffles is a terrifying thing to hear, especially one that is just walk in a wet ocean. I suppose if you walk in a dry ocean. Seville shouted up to Monsh. Ask him to move the island. And Mosh nodded and shouted up to Moore. Ask him to move the island. Moore tilted his head way back to shout to Mosh. And what happened? Mosh started to sneeze. Uh, uh, uh. Foo! A wind, like a hundred hurricanes, swept over the island. It broke windows, and it blew leaves off trees, and blew hamburgers right off the hamburger bushes, and the king's crown right off his head. There's a cat flying through the air. Uh-oh, that could be a cat catastrophe. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Good evening. Uh, oh, hey, Barb, how are you? I, I don't think I've done anything for groans yet. But something else happened at the same time. Something wonderful. For the first time since the visit of the warts, wizard, wizard warts, the sun shined down on Dingleberg. Warm and bright, sunny sunshine poured over the whole island, for that powerful sneeze had blown the wizards clear out of sight. Do, 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 do. 
It was a sneeze, so guess what? It's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just for Barb. Hi, that was for Barb. <laughs> anyway, there, I threw a joke at you. Ah, you! <laughs> <laughs> the people stuck out their heads from their broken windows. In amazement, the king looked out the castle door and cheered. The princess saw the world suddenly brighten around her and cried out in delight. Dingleberg was saved! <laughs> Did you go cock a doo Did you just do that? No. Is it was, in the morning? I was, I was sir. <laughs> My brain went from hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> that night, First a celebration birthday. That night, a celebration was held. After a huge hamburger banquet, the king gave the largest medals he could find to Mosh and Moore and Mosht, and gave Seville the title of Royal Barber of Dingleberg, and was announced to the people that Seville and the princess would soon be wed. Cutting the rug there. Yeah, having a little bit of a dance. On the day the barber married the princess, the sun shone down on Dingleberg brighter and happier than ever before. After the wedding, Moore supplied a fine wind of Seville's small boat as the bride and groom started off on their honeymoon across the calm sea. And as they sailed out of sight, the princess whispered softly to Seville, Aren't you glad the giants come in different sizes? And he said, let's go get a puppy. That doesn't and say that. Can't... It does not say that. No, you can't write a sticky note oh. and put it in there, Tazzy. So there you go. There's a cute book from 1966. Miss Christie would have been 71 years old when this book was uh, written, probably. I'm just judging by the way you're looking at me right now that that's not the right answer. I wasn't even born there. I was only a, I was born a year later. That's what I was born. So there you go. So there's a book about giants that come in different sizes, and um, I don't know. Taz Stewart, Bug Daddy Taz, Bug Daddy Taz, who's the bug daddiest? Um, yeah, so there's a book about just uh, that you can don't give up, right? Like the barbers, like, like Seville the barber said, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I've got another friend I can ask for help, and you can ask friends for help. But that's why you, you know, it's important to be nice to everybody because... You can help them, and they can help you. Right, Miss Christy? Like, I'm nice to you, and I'm going to get a puppy. No. Not today, right now. The puppy store is closed right now. Plus, we don't go to the puppy store. We go get it from, we go get it from the SPCA, or the puppies are wanting somebody to come get them. <laughs> because the puppies are lonely there, and they're like, Where's Taz? Where's Taz? If only Miss Christie would let Taz to come and take a few of us home. Like that. A few? Yeah. <laughs> no! Well, no puppies! Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> well, everybody, that's it. That worked out pretty good. That was a, that was a, a, a one book. Usually I even read more than one book, but we only have time for one book today. So, Miss Yasminka, it is time to brush your teeth and get ready for bed. And uh, everybody else, have yourself a really good night. Um, I uh, will be reading tomorrow, but I will not be reading Thursday. I think probably already said that. And I will put uh, I will put uh, the link on my Facebook page if anybody would like to purchase tickets to support the Canadian Mental Health Association. It's myself and you, me, Dan, and Dean. So it's going to be a really good show. Good night, everybody. Have yourself a good night. And remember, in a world where... What do we say all the time? We say this all the time. In a, in a world where, you know what, um, I'll, I'll, where you can choose to be anything you want, you go, why not choose to be kind? Okay, I'll get that out before I forget. But so today at the show, at one of my, uh, my, one of my meetings, I said goodbye, and I was going to say goodbye, and I go... I said I started saying good night and I go oh that's the wrong thing to say at the end of this <laughs> good night Facebook <laughs> and somebody goes that's okay we've seen you on your thing uh, Barbara saying good night Taz and Miss Christie and uh, I'll try to catch you earlier tomorrow uh, ABK of course ABK um, there you go I'm reading yes, I'm reading on uh, Wednesday but not Thursday and uh, good night everybody so take take time to remember this. All your emotions are valid. Every emotion that you have is a part of you, and you accept it, and you can ask for help if they get become overwhelming. Remember, it's okay to get mad. It's okay to be sad. And it's okay to be frustrated with a situation. Like when there's no puppy. 
but you have to ABK. What is ABK? Always be kind. Always be kind, always be kind. I promise myself to try to always be kind. And that's it. And if you can't be kind, because sometimes our hearts don't work as fast as our words do. And if you hurt somebody's feelings or if you... Um, um, if you hurt somebody, I just my phone just went ding, so my I have attention deficit disorder. So I looked over. If you if you uh, do something to hurt somebody's feelings or or physically hurt somebody, because sometimes we'll you know when kids will push each other, get away, Bob. Just apologize, say sorry, and try to make sure that you think about it next time, and don't beat yourself up too much about it. Be nice to yourself because we have to be kind to ourselves as well. Because remember that you don't have to be perfect at all that you say and all that you do. You don't have to be perfect. You've just got to be you. So you go be you, and Miss Christie will be Miss Christie. I will be Wee Beast, and he will be the daddy. Yeah. Because then if he says I can have a puppy... No! Can, oh, okay. I'm just trying to work it out. <laughs> good night, all my friends. Good night. Good night, all my friends. Good night. May your dreams be cheery and your dreams be bright. Good night, all my friends. Good night. Sleep tight, all my friends. Sleep tight. Sleep tight, all my friends. Sleep tight. May your dreams be so silly, tell the morning light. Good night, all my friends, good night. Good night, Mr. Justin and, and Ms. Yaz and all everybody else. Lots of love from Miss Christy and I. And well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ask Miss Christy for a poppy. No. A poppy. No. Some popcorn? Maybe. <gasps> she said maybe.